What's going on, you guys? It's Erica Brady finally coming back with another video and still defending. So, as you can tell, with my LA hat on and my solo classic sweater, um, time to go to the airport. But before I do that, I wanted to give you a review of the America Hilton's hotel, and it's this. Th this is in downtown Houston, Texas. So this hotel room, I can tell you right off the bat, when you get to the hotel and everything, um, if you're not doing valet, you can do self-parking, which I think is around $30 or so, but then valet is about like $50, $50, $60. So it's just depending if you want to find parking downtown, which is kind of difficult, and or if you want to self-park and still kind of find it difficult, but I just did valet, but uh, right off the bat, you walk in and it just looks beautiful, like definitely super modern um that nice feeling them taking care of you bellhop telling you where to go and everything and i got in at midnight and there were still people there to help me so i thought that was great and then i got up to my hotel um the one thing i liked about the hilton hotel is i'm already a member so i just had to go on my phone have the app and i was able to check in the day prior and have a digital key ready by the time i got here and instead of having to have a hassle with the front desk i already checked in on my phone which was awesome and then got to my hotel and i can tell you usually when i get into a hotel you know um i already have that first feeling of is this good or it's a little bit too cramp uh, cramp but when i walk in walked in um it actually felt really big the the whole window, it, I can tell you it's huge. In the pictures, it didn't look that huge, but whenever I walked in, like, the nightlife was just kind of staring me in the face. Yeah, it was just huge coming in. It's carpet, so so just in case you guys want to know that. Um, I love the bathroom. The bathroom is huge. The walk-in shower is huge. Um, water pressure was good, and I'm usually very stickler with the uh, bathroom. Um, I can tell there's a little rust here and there, but, you know, it... It happens. I can tell you, if you're going to go to this hotel and you wear socks, because I wear socks whenever I'm about to, like, you know, when I'm on flights or whatever. Oh, I wear socks in general. I walk in and I almost slip just because the floor was so, like, slippery. So I had to be careful of that. And then, um, yeah, it wasn't a bad hotel. The one thing I can tell you about was the breakfast, again, was, like, $30. Um, if you're a gold member, you get 15 credit off, but there was Starbucks downstairs, so instead of having to go out early, just eat, and then I will go to Starbucks, get that 15 credit, and then I'll be good to go. Um, another thing is the gym. Gym was good, packed, but good. It was huge. Not a bad deal. But I can tell you my rating, and I'll talk more about the hotels and how I am. My rating for this hotel as a civilian side, um, I would say, so one out of five because it was that. I would give this one, I think, a 4.1. I'll give it 4.1. It was great, um, but I honestly think, in my opinion, it wasn't. If I had to pay, because there's a government rate and then there's a civilian rate. If I was a civilian, I don't know if I would pay that civilian price um, j just because you had to pay extra for other extra things. Just even like, usually the breakfast is free in um, most hotels, but this one you had to pay. That's my opinion of it. Take it as you want, but I know I'll definitely be back at Houston, Texas. And I would say this is a great hotel if you are down here in the nightlife, but then again, there's a lot of different hotels around here, but that's my opinion. So yeah, let's get to the hotel and I'll keep talking about it more. <laughs>
now we're going to the airport. But I can tell you one thing about being downtown um, Houston and something I had to make sure I was careful of because I was actually going to rent outside and everything. Um, there's actually, depending, I think when you pass the park and actually depending on the time, there's a lot of homeless people. Nothing against them or anything like that. Um, but there's a lot of people um out there trying to sell you things um trying to get your business so just something to be aware of something that you don't want to be walking by yourself um and yeah like if you want to go for a run there's the gym yeah there's the park um but i would say not to go past the park that's my opinion like funny story we were all the way um yesterday we had to go to pt and it was around 1600 it was pt with few soldiers but we need to get gas, so we stopped at the closest gas station here. And then um, uh, while I was trying to get my stuff from the back, someone was trying to approach me. Went inside the car real quick, and then while the sergeant major was talking to the soldiers, I had to tell one of the sergeant majors, hey, watch your back, someone's coming up to you too. And then that gas, like, we were there for one minute, and it only filled up, it only filled up like a dollar. It was doing like a dollar a minute, and it was just taking forever, and we needed gas, so... Whenever it was the point where like we had to go and it wasn't safe, um, one of our majors walked in so he can get his, or to get his receipt, because that's what you need to do for DTS. So it was just like this. He was walking up there so he can go inside the, uh, the gas station in order to get his receipt. And then all of a sudden, while all the soldiers and I were just like waiting and looking, um, once he was walking in, then this lady came and followed him and yeah, was asking, oh, so, what do you want to do and he's like what and we're and we're like in full pts right now and he's like guess his receipt and then darts right out of there and we're just like okay let's just go to pt and all that so that's just a little heads up with it um be careful before you go get gas look around your surroundings make sure it's a good place to go but but that was my experience overall i can tell you i actually really like you so when i came in i don't know if i was able to show you i don't think i was the lights um kind of just bringing me in and then the city i was like wow it looks beautiful like i'm from la obviously so being in the city means a lot to me and it was just i don't know it was just a great feeling to be back and just or it was a great feeling to like go to houston and then kind of have that that um city feeling and my opinion about Houston, I actually really like it. If I was ever a recruiter, I would definitely put this on my top five list to be um, recruiting it. So, and the food here, amazing. Especially, even though I can't really taste that much, still. All right, look you guys. So, this is the food. We're gonna open it up. But like, first of all, this huge ass bag, like it doesn't look big, it's huge. This is probably the part of my review of the hotel, which I'm gonna make the day before I leave, or the day of uh, me leaving. Look at this bag, it's, it's as big as my head. It's probably bigger. Holy crap, got that, and then we got some beef enchiladas. <laughs> enchiladas, we got some beef enchiladas. Um, they gave me some salsa. Whatever they make in the salsa in Texas, that is a booty. Look at that. Yes, look. Ooh. With that, it looks amazing. So we're going to open up the chips. I'm telling you guys, um, my taste isn't back all the way. I can taste some things here and there, but... Mm. I'm going to have some rice. Still warm. What well, came from downstairs, which was great. See if it's spicy sauce. Ooh, I need to heal that. That's good. Yeah. Oh no. I can't really give you a rating just because I can't taste a hundred percent yet. So a lot of things don't taste as flavorable usually, but this I can tell has a lot of flavor. So back to the review. Finally, in the airport, I can tell you these people at freaking Houston, um, the airport, like TSA and all that, 
definitely grumpy. Definitely grumpy. I got my head in the clouds. I don't want to come down. I got one, two, three people doubting me now.